The Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering, or AACE, is an organization that provides certifications to cost estimators in the construction industry. They are one of the preeminent organizations that provides information for cost estimators. They have what is known as a cost estimate classification matrix that defines expected accuracy ranges on projects during the design phase. Those ranges include a class 5, which is based on the least amount of a project definition, down to a class 1 type of estimate. Here's the chart that indicates the degree of project definition for each of the classes, the typical purpose of the estimate, the methodology used to prepare the estimate, and then the expected accuracy range within an estimate. Historically, estimates created by architects or engineers are usually low compared to the market because they've either excluded something in the means or methods that were identified by the contractor. For example, job office overhead types of items. This cost estimate classification matrix helps to explain why one might estimate a project on the low end based on knowledge of the project itself. Let's go over an example of how you would read the matrix. Let's say you have very little knowledge about a project. Maybe you have a general idea of the size, but that's about it. Your knowledge would fall within a class 5 in the matrix. You can prepare a rough order of magnitude estimate, and it would be appropriate if your estimate fell within 50% lower or 100% higher than expected. As your project becomes more defined, potential risks are exposed and you become more educated on the overall project. This drives your knowledge closer to a class 1 estimate. Now your estimate may be off as much as 10% on the low side or 15% on the high side. On a very large, several hundred million dollar project, that's a significant amount. An architect, engineer, or consultant will prepare and estimate one or more times during the design phase. Once all the risk items have been identified, a best and worst case scenario, monetarily speaking, can be assumed based on that point estimate. For example, an estimated amount during the design process could be $100,000. Well, based on the risk analysis, it's determined that it could potentially cost $90,000 if all goes well.